Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSEP and Writing Support. Today we're going to talk about the skills of incorporating quotes and paraphrases into your writing. So what's the difference? First of all, a quotation uses the exact words of the author surrounded by quotation marks. A paraphrase restates the author's idea in your own words. However, both require correct citation, and I'll give you those details in a minute. So which is better? Should you just put a bunch of quotes in your paper or should you paraphrase? Well, the key for academic scholarly writing, especially at a graduate level, is paraphrasing is better. It's preferable because it shows you have read and understood the material well enough to put it in your own words. It allows you to continue to present the material in your own voice. And as the APA manual points out, published authors primarily use paraphrasing as opposed to quoting. So students should also emulate that uh, procedure. So is it ever good to use a quotation? Well, there are some circumstances when it is helpful. When the source presents an exact definition you want to retain, and when the author has memorable or special wording, when it's worded in such a way that you could not compare to that in your paraphrase, or when you want to respond to that exact wording, then you might put the ex exact wording in a quotation and then respond to it. However, in, gener in general, paraphrase most of the time. If you do choose to quote, keep your quotation as short as possible. And I put in an example here. The definition of quality, quality of life thus refers to a standard of health, comfort, and happiness which individuals experience. So notice here a couple of things. First of all, I have kept my quotation short. It's only four words. Secondly, what I've done is I've woven it naturally into my sentence. So it's kind of flowing in my writing style. And the third thing I wanna point out is the citation, which I have added at the end of the sentence. So let's talk about that a little more. Of course, you're going to provide a entry for every source that you either paraphrase or quote. For quotations, an in-text citation would look like this. You'd have the author. If there's more than one author, you can write et al. as a shorthand for and the others. Add the year and then the page number. To paraphrase, you must use the author's last name and the year it was published. You can leave out the page number or paragraph it was found in, but APA says you are encouraged still to add that. Well, that's all for this week's writing tip. I encourage you to continue your paraphrasing skills. Contact me if you need help with that and happy writing.